I want to impart to you a piece of wisdom that I have shared many times, which is that the suit section of any thrift store is typically the most underpicked section in terms of stuff that you can find relatively easily that's worth a significant amount of money. The margins on suits and jackets can be excellent and clothing resellers tend to avoid them because they are more work to list and they take more specialist knowledge to be able to identify quality. And I'm not an expert, but I've learned a lot. I'm just gonna pick one off the top here at random. I got all of these for six bucks each. And just looking at it, kind of visually unremarkable, except if you see it in person, you can tell that it has this kind of sheen to it. And once you shop suits enough, you'll develop a tactile feel for quality wool fabric or cashmere or uh, camel hair or any of the other uh, higher end fabrics that suits are made of. There's the brand right there. That is not of very much significance. The brand is not important, or at least not in this case, just because this isn't like a known, well-known or in-demand brand as far as I know, but this is. So here is the easiest shortcut for you if you have never sold men's suits before or suit jackets. Remember this name and this emblem here, Loro Piana. So Loro Piana is an Italian wool maker and they make really high-end fabric that is used by multiple suit brands. And pretty much, if you find Loro Piana anything, it will be worth money. Depending on the brand, the sell-through might be throttled if it's something stupid like Calvin Klein. But if it's like a nicer, like if it's a Hugo Boss suit that's made with Loro Piana, uh, Loro Piana fabric, then that's a pretty safe bet it's gonna be worth a significant amount of money. And the nice thing about suits is that even at the really gouge priced thrift stores, like at Goodwill, uh, even in the event that you find a Laura Piana suit for like 30 or 40 bucks, if the brand is right and you have reason to believe that uh, you can get away with selling it for like 200 plus dollars, that's still a great profit margin. So it's one of the ways to kind of cheat your way out of not being able to make reliably good money at overpriced thrift stores. Super 130s. This, the 130s, whatever, that thread thing, I'm, sh I'm gonna get crucified in the comments for this, I'm sure. I can never remember what the significance of those numbers is. I think the higher up you go, like Super 150s are higher quality than Super 100s. It has something to do with the thread count of the, the wool fabric or something. See below, someone will have left a six paragraph long essay about the significance of the Super 100s. Um, well designation, I'm not saying it's not important, I just, it's not like the most important factor to me when I'm looking at suits and I've gotten away with not actually uh, knowing or caring that much. And this actually has some wear in it here. So what I'm gonna do with this suit is, or this is just a, a suit jacket or a sport coat really. Um, you can get away with listing this as a sport coat. So. You have to be careful. You don't want to sell just suit jackets, especially not pinstripe. I recommend against getting pinstripe jackets of any kind, unless it's like an extraordinary brand and you're willing to sell it for a little bit less. Just because pinstripe jackets are really hard to pull off as a sport coat. The difference being a sport coat is something that you can wear without matching pants. So even if this is a suit jacket, because it has these pearlescent buttons in contrast, this reads as something that can be worn as a standalone. And I'm sure there, again, is like a very specific technical designation between, or delineation between uh, a suit jacket and a sport coat. I knew it at one point, I no longer know it. It's just an eyeball thing for me. So if you find a suit jacket standalone, I would list it as a sport coat as well as using the keyword jacket. Um, so, okay, so what I'm gonna do with this is send it into the real reel because Although I know how to photograph and list suits and jackets, uh, formal jackets like this, I would rather just send it to Real Real, have them do it, and be happy with a decent margin, even if you're making the 40% commission. I've had pretty good luck with Laura Piana stuff so far on Real Real. I'm happy to have them sell it for whatever, you know, 150, 200 bucks, and then make 40% of that. On a $6 purchase, just stuff it in a box and send it away. If you wanna, 
spend the time to uh, take the photos, put it up. I recommend using a mannequin. This is the one circumstance in which I actually do use a mannequin and prefer it to doing the hanger, the flat lay type hanger thing. I think it looks way better on a mannequin. I have a I have one with like a white shirt and just a tie, or not even a tie, I don't even do the tie anymore. I just do the mannequin white shirt. So if you wanna list it yourself, you can make more money. In terms of pricing suits and suit jackets, uh, nothing in my YouTube career has precipitated the screeching rage as uh, me advocating listing like high-end suits at 100 bucks. That's generally my strategy when I list it myself just because I like doing the quick flip and I don't really care if I'm getting something for 10, 15 bucks, selling it at 100, even if it's like a really, really nice suit. If it's something that I could list at 150, 200, 250, I just am happy with like the quick cash. Um, people want to shoot me in the head for doing this. So if you want to just sit on it, price it higher, then, then you know, fair game, fair enough. Um, okay, here is a two piece suit. And this belonged to the same guy, Mr. Anthony Klein. Thank you, Anthony. Same manufacturer here, and this is not Laura Piana, but this is the other tag in terms of material that I recommend that you know. Vitali, Barbaris, Canonico. Not quite as common as Laura Piana, but also quite valuable. When I find it, I pick it up just on the strength of that material tag, and um, it's never really steered me wrong. And this is one that I would not buy if it was just the jacket because it's pinstripe, but it's a full suit, and because it is Canonico, I, I don't actually know the real, real policy on Canonico, but I'm gonna make an attempt if they reject it or if they reject any of this, I'm happy just to take the time to list it and uh, sell it on eBay or Poshmark. Here is another one from this guy. Same manufacturer and same deal. Here is the Laura Piana tag once again. Summer Wish Super 170s. Wow, so if I knew my 100s, I'd be able to tell you if that was really significant. And here's the last one that I got from this fella. Hammer Johnny and Laura Piana 100%, uh, or sorry, uh, wool, linen, and silk. So this is more of a spring summer type thing, unstructured. Uh, I anticipate real real taking this for sure. So this is a two piece suit. This is, I think charcoal gray. No, this is black with some subtle pinstriping. It's hard to tell in this light, it's either black or Dark gray, Hickey Freeman. So do not be seduced by the Hickey Freeman tag. They do make high end stuff. If you can find Hickey Freeman two piece suits that look contemporary, recent, this is a more recent tag, then those are probably worth picking up if they are not too expensive, have uh, had decent luck. And wouldn't you know it, Laura Piana Tasmanian wool. I do know Tasmanian wool confers more value than just standard wool. Tasmanian is good, super 150s. So that is a two piece suit that I got for I think 15 bucks, which is completely outrageous. They cut the price tags off, which is dumb. Um, I, this was $15. I'm again, sending this to real, real. And the suits, if I listed all the suits that I got today, it would take me a long time, to take all the measurements, etc. So just gonna have them deal with it. Here's a three button sport coat, potentially once a suit jacket, but now a sport coat in my heart, Burberry London. So Burberry, I would, as a rule of thumb, tend to avoid the vintage tag, which is Burberry's with an apostrophe S, unless it's something really eye-catching, or unless it's made of cashmere, unless there's a reason to believe that it is very valuable. So I got this for 10 bucks from a Goodwill, Another one that is going in to real, real Burberry. Pretty decent, solid, consistently high value brand. That was it for the suits that I got. That was a great haul of suits. Really happy with that. They were all relatively inexpensive. And even if real, real rejects those, I should have made quite a substantial amount of money, even if I do the quick flip thing on them. At that overpriced Goodwill, I got this. Remember this tag, Isaiah Napoli. I'll see if I can find the red coral insignia somewhere. That's like the emblem. I'm not seeing it, but if you find a piece of clothing that has a little picture of a red piece of coral, that's probably Isaiah Napoli. They do make suits and their suits are very expensive. So if you find Isaiah Napoli anything, if it's in good condition, just pick it up. I've never found a shirt before 
was nine dollars not as high end as napoli certainly but this is one of my hall of famer brands Verity is just a no-brainer seller for me i don't really find it all that often um, but every time i do it really is just an easy flip this is something like 400 percent sell through on ebay that was also nine bucks here's something you really do not find that much it's a weird looking pair of boots and you may not have seen boots like this if you are not an angler so these are wading boots for fishing waders are the big waterproof kind of bib pants that fishermen wear so they can walk around in the water and these fit over the boot foot or the stocking foot of the waders and they're structured in such a way that they vent water out the sides and this brand is an absolute hole-in-one brand sims anything that you find sims branded pick it up it doesn't matter what it is it will sell these boots i didn't look up the comps didn't need to they were only 15 bucks and even if these go out in a large flat uh large flat rate box i should still make like 50 bucks on these although they are my size and the temptation is strong to keep them for myself because it would bring a smile to my smug little face to be wearing 15 dollars wading boots even though i already own a pair that work just fine this is the rare shoe purchase these were six dollars and as you can see those are vintage and they are dead stock meaning they are new with tags and old and uh these are gonna go on flip i think they're floor shimes floor shime is a decent like mid-grade shoe brand i haven't sold them in forever i stepped away from shoes but six bucks for these if i don't have to list them myself flip is a consignment app that i've talked about in previous videos that i'll be making a video about again in the future happy with this i don't know how much i'll get for them but certainly worth six bucks i also got these these are for me these are like a gorgeous pair of leather shoes kind of semi-formal shoes from mark nason i don't remember if that's a good brand or not for shoes i think it's decent and i just really like these and they fit me really well and they're super comfortable they were 13 bucks 14 and you got to jump on those opportunities when you find them i also got the most valuable book i have ever purchased i have an alternative channel called book pilled where i talk about books uh and reselling books a little bit and i do book hauls this is going to be in a follow-up video to this one on that channel i'm sorry to tease you but this is all wrapped up and I'm not going to unwrap it and then rewrap it and then pretend to unwrap it because that would be stupid. So, I'm sorry, but please watch that video. Uh, I made just a nutso windfall with this book. So, I hope that's enough info to get you a little bit started with suits. Suits have been selling fairly well for me recently. Uh, they took a huge hit during COVID, but it seems like the sales are back up and it's it's worth doing, especially if you can pull off the real, real or consignment thing. If you don't want to put in the effort to list them yourself, I'm new to doing the consignment with the suits, so I don't know how successful it's going to be, but I think it's a good option if you can find a luxury suit like a Burberry or like a Laura Piana thing. If you find like a Laura Piana cashmere sweater or blazer or whatever, um, I've had good luck with those on real, real so far. So I can confirm that the top, top, top stuff does sell and you make decent money. Um, so obviously it's more complicated than that. There's more to know, um, but that gives you a little, a little foretaste. So thanks for watching.